morning, good afternoon, and good evening, if you, depending on when you are watching this. This is Copy with the Neuroscientist and Mindset Success Catalyst, Shante Jovan Taylor, and I help you to bust through your mental blocks to get to your success faster, because why not? I want you to get to your greatness faster. And everything, everything starts in the brain and the mind. 90% of your success starts here. All right. What's between your ears? Your brain. If you have some coffee, some tea, some water, whatever, join me and hang out as I talk about the three ways to unlock your genius brain. Are you ready? Get your drink. I actually have some coconut oil in my coffee today because I need some extra brain fuel to bring, uh, to fuel my 100 billion brain cells. You have 100 billion brain cells too, but I have a lot of mental energy to use today. So coconut oil is made up of medium uh, chain fatty acids. So it's able to cross the blood brain barrier faster and your brain can use the energy right away. All right. So I also took my uh, brain supplements. All right. Some herbs for the brain, for the brain cells. And of course, I'm drinking my water because I have a lot to do. I'm preparing for a talk tomorrow. So how do you unleash your genius brain? Three ways, three ways. Ready? Let's do it. Number one, the only way to actually release your genius zone is to actually be working in your genius zone. I know that sounds basic, but your genius zone requires you to work on your strengths. Okay, so you have to be doing the thing that uh, you're naturally designed to do. You have to be working on your strengths, not at what... Not at what you're good at, because we're good at a lot of things, okay? But what are you great at? There's one, two, three things on this planet that you are just naturally good at. Like, it just clicks. You don't know why, you can't explain it, but you get it. And when you try to explain it to somebody else, they have like, you know, like a deer, you know, looking at headlights or something. That's your genius. Those are your strengths, okay? All right, number two. To get to your genius zone, you have to get some sleep physically. Now, I tell people how to wake up consciously, to be more aware of themselves, to be more aware of their lives, okay? So I'm all for people being conscious and aware and waking up from their mental dull program slumber, Okay, but that's on a whole nother level. You actually need to get physical sleep, okay? Because we are a sleep deprived society. And when we deprive ourselves of sleep, we might as well be prisoners of war because it's a form of torture in war to deprive prisoners of sleep. Because guess what? When you are deprived of sleep, Your mental facilities go down. Your cognitive abilities go down. Your ability to stave off uh, distractions go down. You can't focus. Your willpower goes down. Okay? So you have these negative thoughts that you can't get rid of because you don't have the mental energy or capacity to ward them off. You cannot operate in your genius zone If your brain is sleep deprived, that makes sense, right? You will make more mistakes if you're sleep deprived. You can't focus if you're sleep deprived. You will have all these negative thoughts if you're sleep deprived. That makes sense. Genius requires you to sleep seven to nine hours a day. And your brain is more active when you're asleep than when you're awake. You didn't know that, huh? So it's doing different things, but it's doing things that activates your genius zone. This is where you're going to be putting together ideas. 
you know, making connections you can't make in the daytime because you're so busy using your brain. This is where your brain, brain is going to be getting cleaned up from all the mental debris, you know, the mental waste from using your brain all day. This is where your emotional regulation is going to take place. You're, so you want to sleep seven to nine hours a day so that you can operate in your genius zone. Number three, so we're on number three. You have to saturate your mind. You have to saturate your environment with your area of genius. So if you are a writer, you need to be thinking about writing, reading about writing, going to seminars about writing, going to conferences about writing. You need author friends who just talk about writing. You need to be going to meetups where people just talk about writing. You need to be reading books about how to write different genres of writing so that because that'll give your brain more to draw from if you saturate your mind with what your genius at. Okay? So that's how you fuel your genius. That makes sense? You need to be around people that just talk about what your genius is. Protect your mind from all the other stuff. Okay? All the other nonsense. You need to be on social media telling people what you do, sharing your challenges, sharing your successes about your genius. Okay. That is how you are going to help direct your mental pathways. That's why I am fascinated by autistic people. If you look at their brain and they're able to play a piece of music, but just by listening to it, or some can look at a, a city landscape and study it for 60 seconds and be able to draw every detail of it, it's because their, their brains are set up to be hyper-focused in a certain part of the brain just for that. Now, they have other issues, okay? But I'm fascinated by their brains because their genius is lit up in a certain way and you can see it on brain scans. And if we can hone in on that, if we can hone in on that as people, I mean, we can activate our own genius zone, but we have to have that hyper clear focus. Everybody is a genius. Everybody. That's what Einstein said. But if you measure the intelligence of a fish's ability to climb a tree, it will go its whole life thinking it's stupid. The fish is not designed to climb this tree. Stop trying to climb the tree. You're a fish. Thrive in the water. Your genius zone is in the water. Okay? So, three ways to activate your genius. You got to be doing your genius. You got to be doing your strengths. You got to be doing what lights you up. Number two, you have to get physical sleep so your brain can work for you. So it can activate your genius ideas so that it can be focused so it can give you the mental capacity to work on your genius and number three you have to saturate your mind and your environment with your genius activities that's how you become a genius this is coming from a neuroscientist and mindset success catalyst i hope this serves you you are a genius go find it Go do it, go be it, and be great. All right? Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you share. You know I'm going to ask you to share because why? I think the world would be a different place if everybody operated from their genius zone. People would be much happier, more fulfilled, and who knows where we will end up in the universe if everybody's operating from their genius zone. The zone that lights you up from the inside out. Show up, people. Show up in your genius way because you are. All right? Share and go be great. Take care, everyone.